You know, spring brings us a lot of cool trade shows and a lot of great product announcements, but there are still those devices that I still wouldn't give even to my worst enemy. So I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and these are our top five devices to skip for spring 2013. Number five, any Amazon Kindle Fire, and I mean anyone, even if it's the old one, the new Kindle Fire HD, the 8.9, these are good tablets, but the problem with them is that they're stuck on Amazon's ecosystem. And yes, you can root these tablets and do everything you want, but not every customer out there is capable of doing that. And if you're not stuck in wanting to buy everything that smells Amazon, as if Amazon had everything, then we do recommend you skip these tablets for now. Number four, any Samsung Galaxy device that's not an S3, an S4, or a Galaxy Note 2. And the reason why is because Samsung has proven to be great when it comes to their high-end smartphones, but then they come out with all these Galaxy S3 Mini, Galaxy S4 Mini, Galaxy S whatever that are not the S3 or the Note 2 or the S4. And the problem you get here is that you don't get software updates. And if you ask me, I would also skip the whole tablet lineup from Samsung as they still haven't been able to figure that one out either. Number three, the HTC Windows Phone 8X. A very beautiful phone, but that's pretty much it. If you think about it, if you want to go Windows Phone in this day and age, when it comes to your wallet, added features, and just about everything you'll get, well, Nokia is pretty much the product to beat. Sadly, HTC brought us an iconic design of a phone that is sadly not capable of doing anything better than any other Lumia smartphone out there, even the low-end Lumia. So again, if you want a pretty phone, well, the 8X will probably be for you, but if you want to get more bang for your buck, I'd go Lumia. Number two, the Microsoft Surface RT. Notice, RT, not the Windows 8 Pro model. Sadly, the problem with the Surface RT is that this was a great idea, a beautiful device, a great concept with terrible execution. There are no applications out there for it, and you can't run any applications from any market because nobody's pretty much built anything for it. But aside from that, it is a very slow tablet. And when you consider the fact that you're paying as much money for that tablet as you would pay for an iPad, well, most people will go for the iPad. And the top number one device we recommend you skip for spring 2013 is the iPad mini, a very beautiful tablet, Gorgeous design, it runs iOS, it has the largest ecosystem out there, but it does not have a retina display. And its biggest problem is that there is the iPad mini 2 coming out probably very soon. So the problem is that you'll probably have the iPad mini 2 coming soon with everything you don't get, the retina display, a better processor, better performance, everything. And then you'll be stuck with the iPad mini 1, which is sadly, well, probably not underpowered, but it's just a meh product. Probably one of the biggest disappointments of the year since we were expecting the full-fledged ebook radio coming from Apple and then we got the mini, which again, will probably cater to some people, but then when I see five-year-olds out there with the iPad mini as their tablet, it makes you wonder if you're really carrying a high-end product. That's it for today's top five. Thank you very much for watching. I am Jaime Rivera. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Follow us on your social network of choice and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you very much for watching.